Hey, what's going on? This is Marcos. Today, I just want to announce the release of a new plugin for Final Cut Pro 10 that allows you to import B-RAW footage straight from Final Cut Pro 10 and start editing from all within Final Cut Pro 10. Now, in the past, if you're you know a Final Cut Pro 10 user, you know if you're dealing with B-RAW footage, you have to bring it into DaVinci, do the transcoding, export, and bring it back into Final Cut Pro 10. It's quite a bit of a hassle. That's why I try to never shoot B-RAW in my Blackmagic Pocket 4K or if you own the 6K, you might should be shooting in ProRes. Uh, that, that way you can just bring it into Final Cut Pro 10. But let's say you're a Final Cut Pro 10 user, which I am. I always like to edit in Final Cut. I am much faster than editing in DaVinci. Uh, so you, you, know, you might just do that extra step of transcoding the, the footage in DaVinci. But now with uh, Color Finale Transcoder, this is a plugin that I mentioned, uh, you can do it all within Final Cut Pro. So there'll be links in the description if you wanna check it out. You all can also, uh, import every raw footage and cinema, cinema DNG. Those don't inter interest me as much because I only shoot uh, Black Magic raw. Uh, so you know, definitely check it out if if you're a Final Cut Pro 10 user. Without further ado, let's jump over to a computer and I'll show you how it works. All right, so here we are in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see, here's the library I already created. Here's the project, and here's just the audio. I couldn't import the video obviously because it was. I shot this interview in B-RAW. So to import, if I want to import Command-I, here's the uh, project file. You see B-RAW, it's grayed out, I can't import it. That's why you need uh, the plugin transcoder in order to transcode the footage all within Final Cut Pro 10. So once we open it up, you can see here, here's the source, this is an external drive, here's the interview, and here are the files, three files. Here's where you can scrub through the footage. You can't play it if I hit the space bar or if I hit these buttons, it's not really meant for playing, but you can see the here the time code. If you want to get exact in and out points, let's say you don't want to transcode the whole thing, you just want to maybe transcode a part of it, you can do that by dragging these arrows. You see that you can just select part of the video and just transcode, transcode part of the video. So to do that, you want to open up uh, the Black Mag open this file with Black Magic Raw Player and pay attention to the to this time code. Um, okay, and the next thing I would look at is these settings over here on the right hand side. You see the transcode coding codec. I always go with ProRes four two two. If you're trying to save space, maybe go with LT or Proxy. But I like to take advantage of the full resolution, so I go four two two, and then again the full resolution, the four K footage. If you're trying to save space, maybe go with full because this is a long interview. So you might want to do that. I don't know why you would go with all these other two, but you could. Uh, for what I would do is I would go with full. And then the highlight recovery and then the color space, um, you know, by I think by default, it defaults to Rec. 709. It'll com convert the footage to Rec. 709 for you. I recommend you not do that. I, I personally like to color grade after I transcode using Color Finale. But Let's say you are converting the footage. You can apply a uh, highlight recovery now and change the color temperature, the tint and ISO exposure, all of this good stuff. If you needed to just to get the image in the right, you know, where you need it to be. Uh, but how I like to do it, I'll, I reset all of these and I select BMD film generation four because I film with my Blackmagic Pocket 4K. So this is the it's coming straight out of the camera. You see there, that's what it's gonna look like. So I'm not touching any of this. But if you, again, if you look, if you are planning to do that, you go with Rec. 709, then you would get, you can pay attention to the waveforms. This is the RGB waveform. You click. Now you see more of the Luma. This is the histogram. That's if you're doing some of the color grading here. So it's pretty powerful if you're going that route. Uh, but for our sake. Let's just stick to what's coming straight out of the camera. All right, uh, so if I try to transcode this whole thing right now, it's gonna take a long time because it's like an hour and 55 minutes of footage. So I'm just gonna do like just a couple seconds. I'm transcoding just this amount of footage. And what I would do is just hit import selected and I'll, be, I'll get there to that in a second. Let me just show you one more thing. If I wanted to copy over the settings, to the other files, I select copy, and I go to the other, the other one that already had the conversion, and I, it's, I select paste, 
and it'll copy over all the settings that I had from the previous clip. Okay, just something to be aware of. All right, so let's transcode this small piece of the the whole video. Let's see what happens. Import selected. It's gonna ask me, do I want to create a new library or select an existing one? I already created the library, so let's select that one. Choose, and this will take a while before it finishes. All right, that's done. That took about a minute. Let me close this out. You can see it created this new event, and here is the 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 small portion of the video transcoded. It's 35 seconds. It took about a minute. Now you can rename this if you want. Say tie one. Huh. Then you drag in the clip, and now there it is. You see that? It's all there. You can start color grading with Color Finale Pro and do all your conversions that way. That's how I would do it, okay? So back to Transcoder, that's pretty much it. That's a look at Transcoder, very powerful. I would say that um, it's a nice way to stay within Final Cut Pro 10. If you're familiar with Final Cut and you don't wanna go to DaVinci, then this is the way to go. So hopefully this was simple enough. So there you have it. That's a basic walkthrough of Color Finale Transcoder. Again, if you want to check it out, there'll be links in the description. If I forgot to answer some of your questions, please drop them down below. As always, I appreciate you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.